In today's video, I wanted to share with you a coverage defense that I think is going to actually start to gain some traction. Now, if you are new to the channel, I want to ask you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And I also want to ask you uh, to consider joining our Patreon. If you don't know what that is, it's basically my membership where I post all of my ebooks, all my schemes, all my tips. So if you uh, if you want to get better at this game, we've got 15 offensive and defensive ebooks available over at the Patreon membership. We've got some pro player film rooms uh, that are right around the corner. We've got a huge update coming today in the Patreon as well. So make sure that you're joining that. If you want to check that out, I'm going to put a link to that in the description of the video. It's only ten dollars a month, and literally you get everything. Most ebooks are twenty to forty to sixty dollars a pop, and we actually give you fifteen offensive and defensive guys right now for just ten dollars. You also get updates to them throughout the year, and any new game plans or any new guides that we will release while your subscription is active. So again, if you want to sign up for that, there's a link in the description below, and you can sign up for just ten dollars. Okay, guys, uh, so what I wanted to talk about today is a coverage defense that I think is actually going to be very, very important uh, going forward, and that is this um, this concept here, red zone double buzz. Now, I've done a couple of videos on the cover one robber style of defense, why I think it's one of the better ways to play defense, and in today's video, I want to talk about this red zone double buzz being a potential option for you as well, primarily because of how it's going to defend uh, crossing routes and how it will actually, if you think about man, uh, man coverage, the number one thing that is going to give you trouble is crossing routes or like some wheel routes and stuff like that. And this red zone double buzz, what it does, it's out of, uh, we're in the Chicago playbook, by the way, but you can actually find this in a lot of different, um, you know, 335 wheel, nickel normal, I'm sure, uh, 245. There's a lot of formations that have this, but I really think this is going to gain some traction because let me show you what happens here with these hook curls. So I just want to call the play verticals first to kind of show this. Um, but this crossing route out of verticals is really hard to guard, even in man coverage. And what you're going to notice with this is that this hook curl is going to uh, shadow it and then it's going to pass it off pretty well. Now, if you have a guy there, that's a click on SWAT. Um, that's, that's, you know, it's not difficult to stop that. The other thing that I want to show you with this, though, is occasionally, and again, it's a little bit dependent on the routes on the field, but occasionally these hook curls will actually match it. Um, and if you run it a couple of times here, you'll see that they will match randomly these crossers. I think it pretty much typically depends on what route in particular the running back is on, which we'll get to that in just a second. But again, if you take a look here, there you see he matches it perfectly across the formation and takes that away. So um, that's kind of piece A of this, is that you have a chance to um, defend crossers, even if you can't defend them, uh, so to speak, like perfectly. What's really nice about this coverage uh, what's really nice about this coverage is that you put yourself in a much better position to be able to guard it anyway. Okay, so now let me shift over here to PA boot over, for example, and just run kind of your standard thing. I just want to show you how these hook curls play. See how they carry them and they get the players in position to actually make a play on the ball. So they carry them in the points at which they're going to beat man to man, and then they actually pass them back off to the man coverage. Occasionally, like I said, they will match them. Um, and if you want to, you can try to spotlight that receiver that you might think is going to be on that crossing route. But the bottom line here is you see here how these hook curls really put everything in a good position. They're also in a, a really good position to defend things, all, other things like uh, trips tight end, for example. So I'm going to shift over to that. If I go to trips tight end here, and let's say I put the tight end on a post, and I put the um, the slot on a slant, something like this right here, uh, for example, you're going to notice that you're going to get an interesting little defense. So again, uh, what you'll see here is these hook curls. See there, boom. And then the tight end is open on this example, but you do see how the hook curls take a lot of stuff away that it wouldn't you know, that your standard cover one, your standard whatever, um, you're not going to be able to defend that. And I'm going to show you how to expand on that in just a second. I want to show one more time uh, this concept, and then we'll get to uh, we'll get to something else. So again, we'll just do like something like this. And again, you want to be flipping this play like with the formational strength, of course. So if they flip, you flip. But watch these hook girls just lurk there, lurk there, and then you've got that guy giving an opportunity for him to run because they can't throw the ball right on the cut. That's really the big takeaway, okay? Because big the the when you're talking about man coverage in particular, the thing that beats man a lot is the cut of the route, right? So the cut of the route, if we can cut that off, we can find ourselves in a pretty good spot. So you see here, boom, perfect coverage, perfect coverage, and now you know they got to throw it 
you know, kind of in a 50-50 position, okay? So now I wanted to expand on it just a little bit here and talk about a concept that we talked about previously, and that is how do you guard this running back route? Well, the way that I like to do this is we're actually going to go ahead and pinch our defense, of course. We want a user of this guy right here. So we're going to use this guy that's in this hook curl, and we're going to bring him down and put him on a blitz. Then what we're going to do is we're actually going to drop the um, – the defensive end on the right side of the screen in a zone of our choice. So that could be a curl flat, that could be a vertical hook, that could be whatever we really want, okay? And then on the left side or the side of the running back, we're gonna drop that defender into a bluff blitz assignment. And we talked about this a little bit before, but what you're gonna notice now is now we're gonna get a hook curl, and then typically if that running back goes on a route, our linebacker should turn into basically a three wreck and we've got a vertical hook or purple zone on the back side. So now we've really kind of secured this coverage. You see right here, you see the little swip, swip off there. And as you can see, this is really, really, really decent coverage uh, across the board. So you put yourself in a position where you've got a lot of things that are gonna be very effective. So again, let me show you one more time. We're just gonna drop him in a, into a three wreck. And then you can drop the backside guy in a purple or a yellow zone, whatever you want, or a hard flat if you want a hard flat. And then what you'll see here, and I'll just run kind of a standard concept from bunch like this, and you see that the coverage is pretty dang good. So um, just wanted to kind of do a quick video on this and kind of talk about this. I think there's a lot more to come on this general concept of what I taught today about how you can utilize hook curls to kind of slow down some of the big time crossing routes as opposed to just trying to put purples on the field. The problem with putting purples on the field, honestly, is that when you're in man coverage and you're trying to put a bunch of purples on the field, you'll find that your man coverage, when they're running their crossers, like their drags or their posts, they're going to run into your guys. So uh, that's just something to be mindful of, be aware of. But anyways, guys, just wanted to kind of uh, just hit on this concept today. We're going to talk about it a little bit more on our Patreon and our defensive ebooks and stuff like that. So if you want to go check out the Patreon, it's only $10 a month, and it gets you access to everything. You got right now today, you'll get access to 15 offensive and defensive guides, gun bunch, trip tight end, U-trips, uh, spread, air raid, um, bunch – Bunch tight end, compression sets, uh, five wide offenses. And then defensively, you're also getting access to match defenses, zone drop defenses, three through five uh, wide, uh, two, four, five odd, three, three, five odd, three, three, five will, nickel normal. I mean, we have a ton of material in that Patreon. So if you're still watching this video and you are interested in joining that, head on down to the description of the video and you can click that link that I put down there and it'll get you access uh, or you can go get signed up and get access to everything. So thanks for watching and if you want to go join the Patreon, head down to the description and click the link.